popping in the, uh, the sword and yeah, um, July the 9th, I'm coming. <sighs> Yeah, I was born in London, grew up in a place called Tottenham, but I've always been involved in combat sports or sports in general. It was always my outlet. I was never really academic. I say I'm pretty intelligent, but academically didn't really challenge me. I wasn't really interested in academics. The only thing that interested me was sports and being the best at it. Football, tennis, basketball, boxing, anything I put my mind to, I want to be the best at. I've always had this competitive nature. Um, I also played rugby at a very, very high level. I represented Scotland. So yeah, I've always been in and around and involved in sports, but waking up every day and getting punched in the face and that kind of stuff, it comes easy to me. I'll be honest, like waking up every day and going to training, I know what it takes to get to you know an elite level in sport. That's the hardest part is waking up every day and getting to the gym. The easy part for me is getting in the cage and fighting. That comes so natural to me, so easy. I'm glad I get to do it for a living, to be fair. It makes me so happy. And I got given an ultimatum by my dad. He said to me, you rather choose rugby or you choose boxing. What one do you think you're better at? And um, I think at that time I was enjoying rugby just that little bit more. So I decided to pursue rugby, left the boxing on the back burners. But in, in the meantime, I always dabbled in Wing Chun, kickboxing, all that kind of stuff, karate, judo. So I was always a massive fan, always like watching Blood Sport with Jean-Claude Van Damme and Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee, that type of stuff. So it was always, always in the back of my mind. So played rugby at a very high level. And then when I stopped playing rugby, this, the competitive nature just, um, it's, it's always been in me. So I needed something to challenge myself. And I got back into boxing, went back down to the local boxing club and I fought UFC and all that type of stuff and mixed martial arts is, is pretty big. Let me just add some kicks and punches and some grappling to the boxing and see where it can take me. Five years ago, because I just started as my son was being born. That's when I started getting into MMA. I'm always wanting, wanting to learn. I never want to stop learning. So I think that for me, my development comes on quite quickly. So if you tell me something, I'll go and practice it and I'll get it right. And I won't stop until I get it right. And I think that's probably the difference between you know, me turning pro quite quickly. I wouldn't be in this sport unless I wanted to be the best. I'm a sore loser. I mean, if I finished my career and I thought my career wasn't that good, man, I'm my biggest critic. So like, I'm in this sport to be the best and fight the best. Nothing gets me up more or gets me up more in the morning to know that Right, in the next hour, however many fights, you're gonna be fighting the best heavyweights in the world. You're gonna test yourself against them. And that sends shivers down my spine because that's what I want. I think his biggest weakness is probably his arrogance. Not that he's an arrogant guy, because I don't know him, but the fact that he's accepted the fight and thought, yeah, maybe I've got a chance of beating this guy. For me, that's like, well, it's a personal challenge, right? So it ain't like I've looked at him and gone, oh, he's a bit this or he's a bit that and whatever. Uh, I take the good parts because if I focus on what he's not good at, then that obviously will blur my vision. So the only thing I would say is, yeah, anyone, not just him personally, but anyone that agrees to take a fight against me, I take it as a personal challenge and a sign of arrogance that, yeah, he thinks that he can beat me. So, yeah. He's gonna have a big shot in terms of my aggression. People think, oh, like when they see my fights, they think, oh, he's quite an aggressive guy, he's this and that. But once I feel like I'm gonna unleash on you, there's nothing that's gonna be able to save him. I've got a little boy. Um, I've got another little boy on the way. Outside of MMA, it is strictly family, really. You know, friends, obviously. All my time is devoted to them. So outside of MMA, it's devoted to my family. And if I'm not with my family, I'm training. So I don't really have that many distractions anymore. Um, when I obviously, when I was younger and things like that, there's always distractions, whether it's your boys are getting involved in this or that, and this, that, and the other. But now I keep myself firmly on the ground and I try and stay away from other people's, you know, life and negativity and, and shit. And I try and just, there's not much else that goes on in my life, really, that, you know, not that I can share on camera anyway. <laughs> Just make sure you turn up. I've got no words about uh, this and that. Please just turn up. 
Because if you turn up, then we're going to get it on. And that, that fuels me. So just don't pull out and make sure you turn up. Be a man, you know, pull your socks up, grab your balls. Let's go, let's get it on.